All right, both thanks for joining. First up is gonna be Sierra Santos with Fox 10 and then Kellen Olson. Hey, both Monty was saying that it's kind of impossible to ignore the outside noise, what national pundits are saying, local people, whatever. But do you, you he, I asked him if he uses, um, he tells you guys to ignore it or to use it as motivation. And he said that you kind of have to do both. Which side do you kind of fall on? More of the ignore side. Um, and not just in, in this instance, more just in life and, and day to day. You know what I'm saying? Somebody had texted me yesterday and was like, you know, they have you guys losing. I asked them, who, who are they? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's the approach every day. Um, we have a good group in this locker room you know, from top to bottom, um, that's focused on winning basketball games, and that's it. Next up is Kellen Olson with Arizona Sports and then Cameron Cox. Hey, Book, in, in conversations with Monty, Jay, Chris, and maybe other friends across the league, what have they been emphasizing to you the most about playoff basketball and getting ready, which you're going to experience for the first time on Sunday? Um, I mean, we watched the game together and just, you know, seeing the physicality, you know, the – you know, the play through calls, um, you know, just having the short memory of, you know, going to the next play and understanding the ultimate goal is, you know, to win the basketball game. Um, if you're 0 for 5, 0 for 10, you know, it, it doesn't matter. The next shot is what counts. And, you know, that's, that's what we have to be on. Um, just next play mentality. With the lifelong fan you've been of the league, is is there part of this you can look at it being special that you're doing it against the Lakers, against LeBron, against AD? 100%. You know, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Um, you know, and it's time. You know, it's what I've been waiting on. It's what we've been talking about. It's what we put, you know, a lot of extreme work into, you know, to get to this point. So, you know, it's, it's an exciting time. Next up, Cameron Cox of 12 News and then Dwayne Rankin. Hey, Book. Monty said it all year. Everything you want is on the other side of hard. He just said it again in his uh, press conference. Is this the uh, hard he was talking about, getting the defending champs in the first round? And then what do you make of the matchup? I don't think that was the hard that he was talking about. He's, you know, it's kind of how you, how you take the statement. You know, it can be possession to possession, game to game. You know, but did we think we were going to get a get to a championship without having to, you know, go against the defending champs? No. Um, so you know, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a, you know high high intense game, um, high intense first round matchup. We got time for three more. Next up is Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic, and then Paul Richardson. Yeah, Devin, when you look at. Uh, you know, one of the things that we always talk about with you is the process and the process. What's the process been like as far as enjoying it in terms of getting ready for a first round series, the practices of that, the sit downs, the talks with guys and coaches? What's that? How has that been for you as far as that goes? You know, I love it. You know, this is the type of basketball that, you know, I've been waiting to be a part of. Um, you know, everybody says playoff basketball is, you know, two different sports, you know, compared to the regular season. So, you know, just feeling it throughout the locker room, feeling the intensity and the, and the details, picking up on, you know, every, every possession, just having an understanding that, you know, every possession matters. You know, I'm not saying every game does, but a lot of these games come down to, you know, one, two or three, you know, deciding possession. So, you know, keeping that in the back of your mind and, and valuing it and, you know, taking advantage of, you know, every opportunity you get. Quick follow, when you were growing up, what was the first playoff series you saw and you were like, I want to be in that. That's that's what I want to be a part of. Um, I remember watching that Pistons team, 04, 05, 05, 06. Uh, you know, that you know, was real inspiring for me for seeing it from a team aspect and seeing, uh, you know, everybody on the floor having different roles and, and owning into that. Um, and just putting on defensive clinics, you know, everybody being able to guard, um, the physicality, going to another level, you know, all 48 minutes. So, you know, that, you know, that was some good basketball. Final two are Paul Richardson with the Sports Cave and Dave King. Hey Devin, I know so much has been made about this being your first playoff series. 
when the game starts or when you get to that moment, how do you keep yourself calm and in the moment and not let that get too big or or maybe even think about it as just another game? How do you how do you stay calm when that when that moment comes up? I mean, you work on your game. You know, you, you put a lot of hours into this um, before the opportunity presents itself um, to be comfortable in these situations. Um, you know, so, you know, I have an opportunity to show that coming up soon. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but just knowing the, knowing the end goal of, you know, winning, winning the basketball game, you know, not putting too much energy in, you know, the wrong places because that energy can, can be used at all times or during a series. Final question is Dave King with Bright Side of the Sun. Hey, Devin, congratulations on making your first playoffs. I got a quick two-parter. First part is, have you thought about how you how it's going to feel being at home for your first playoff game when they announce the starting lineups and the fans are going crazy and they're about to tip off? And second, how has Chris Paul changed his, he talks all the time, but how has he changed his talk this week now that you know what your opponent is in the first round? Um, the first part of the question, you know, is honestly, you know, some I'm looking forward to, you know, feeling that energy, you know, being in there, you know, it's been a long journey, a long 11 years that, you know, this city has been waiting for this opportunity or this chance. So, you know, running out and, you know, given given the people what they want in this city, you know, it's going to be, you know, a relief. But you know, still obviously a lot of work to do. And you know, Chris, you know, he's always locked in. You know, obviously you can, like I said earlier, you can feel it intensified a bit and go up a go up a level. But you know, he he's ready to go. You know, this isn't his first time around the block. Thanks for the time, book. Thank you.